I'm Natalia Bonner. Welcome back. Okay, I'm super excited to be here today for a couple of reasons, but mostly because I have something brand new and exciting to share with you today. So if you notice, I have a new quilt here on the wall. This is a brand new class that I am going to be teaching starting January 1st. 2023. This class is called Visual Guide to Free Motion Quilting Quilt Blocks. So in this awesome new class, I am going to be teaching you all sorts of fun things, including free motion quilting, ruler work, all different types of hand-guided quilting to really help you expand your machine quilting library. But what I'm most excited about, not only are there 12 awesome blocks, plus this cool star in the center, or you have the option to quilt an applique block. But as I was quilting through this quilt, I was also working on another surprise. So for the last several months, I have been developing some brand new machine quilting rulers. Now let me just make one thing clear before we get into these new rulers. This brand new class, Visual Guide to Machine Quilting Quilt Blocks, in this class, you do not have to have these brand new rulers. You will need to have at least the 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler, maybe the mini 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler. However, there are a few places on this quilt where I am going to show optional designs that you could quilt, let's say, in the outside border, in the flying geese around the outside of the quilt, or even in the patchwork blocks that are around the center of the quilt. So I will be sharing these bonus designs and today we're going to be sharing the first. So this is an option to quilt that sashing at the top of the quilt or at the bottom or even on the sides of the quilt using my brand new machine quilting ruler. Today friends, we're gonna hop over to my longer machine and we're going to be stitching using the Sway machine quilting ruler. Let's hop over to our machines and let's get stitching. So here's this awesome feather motif that we're going to quilt today using the Sway 4 machine quilting ruler. This ruler and the Sway 5 and the Sway 3 are now available for pre-order over on our website peaceandquilt.com. To quilt this design, I'll start out by using a blue Mark Be Gone marker and I'm going to mark a straight line right through the center of this border space. Once I have that line marked, then I'm going to audition my rulers. I recommend using all of the Sway rulers because there are some places where I'll want to use a larger ruler and there are some places where I'll want to use the smaller ruler. With a design like this, once I've marked that center line, I'll actually get my rulers and lay them right on top of my quilt and audition the designs. Once I've found the center, I'm also, for this motif, going to mark a straight line that is right in the center of this space vertically. So I have a horizontal line and a vertical straight line in the center. Once I've done that marking, now I'm ready to begin quilting. I've chosen to use the Sway 4 based on the size of the ruler. I feel like it gives me a great spine for this feather motif. Now I like to quilt from left to right, so I'm going to lay my Sway 4 machine quilting ruler so that the right side of that ruler, the point where my ruler has the concave dip and comes right up to the flat part, I will line that portion up where my two lines intersect right in the center. I'm also going to position the Sway ruler so that the ruler the flat side on the ruler and the marked line that is parallel to that flat side line up right on top of my marked line, my horizontal line, on my quilt. Now I'm ready to begin quilting. I'll start quilting on the left side. I'm going to start all the way around the circle on the left side of the sway ruler. From there, I'll follow the sway around the circle, then down through that concave dip. When I get across the first sway to the point where I had marked, so I'm at that point where the two lines intersect, I'll stop, 
have my needle in the down position, then I'm going to readjust my sway ruler, move it over to the right side of that marked line, and again I'm going to line up the marked line on the ruler and the flat side of the ruler right straight along with that marked line that's right through the center of my border. From there, then I'll continue quilting. I'll quilt up around the top part of the curve on this way, then down through that concave curve. Now I'll stop and I want to continue that circle, so I'll rotate the sway ruler and stitch around the circle on that so that the circle on the right side curls up to the top of my border section. So now I have my foundation for my feather all stitched out. At the end of that feather, I'm going to stitch a feather tail kind of at the end, and then I'll stitch back along that spine to the center point. Now at the center point, I'm going to begin stitching feathers, filling in that space around that spine that I've created with some beautiful hand-guided bump back feathers. Now as I'm quilting these feathers here, you can see that I really just started to play around and have fun. I start with these beautiful bump back feathers and then from there I'm going to just add in some feathers that are a little bit more flat and some playful feathers, some feathers with a curl on the end, just playing around and making them really full and beautiful. Once I've quilted all the way around that first section, then I'm going to use an echo stitch and echo my way around the outside right back to the center on my feather. Now from the center point, I'm going to continue quilting feathers, filling in now on the left side. I'll continue stitching those feathers like I did on the right side all the way around and then going into that echo stitch to quilt my way back to the center point. So now I have my feathers quilted all along the bottom side of this feather. Now let's go to the top side of the feather and repeat that same process, filling in along the top side. So from here I'll repeat that process, continue filling in feathers along the top side, echoing back to the center point and then repeating that process along that right side. I love how this little motif turned out. This class I am so excited for, Visual Guide to Machine Quilting Quilt Blocks, but also the sway rulers are awesome and the possibilities really are endless. Don't worry, I will have many more videos sharing all the ways that you can use the sway rulers to help you machine quilt beautiful designs. You can pre-order yours today over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. Have a great day, everybody.